Is it that? Is it that dry hole just there? I think so. This could end really badly. I'm like, I swear one of them is dirt. And he's like, no, I can't remember that. Look at all the shaley rock behind me. That's just to try and put it into perspective how tough it is to get down here. If you're in a caravan and you want fuel, there's an ampoll tank out the back. And if you know anyone at Arnott's that wants to sponsor us with some chicken crimpies, <laughs> let us know. <laughs> Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. At the end of last week, we were at Mount Bruce Free Camp. Well, we are still there and exploring more of Karajini National Park. So make sure you watch till the end to check out all the hotspots. Chelsea has been at it all afternoon collecting firewood and she's got a massive stockpile because there's so much around here. We've got some wicked coals going and we've got some lamb chops going on the fire tonight. We have an incredible view of the sunset and all the other caravans and campers up here. Fantastic. Now don't walk away from the chops for too long because you've got a dog and you've also got lots of wild dogs out here. <laughs> oh yeah, last night we were sitting around the fire and it um, wasn't until Juice Bark there was a dingo like probably 15 metres from us. Good morning! Today we have driven about 40 minutes from our free camp out to Dale's campground which is right next to the walks we're going to be doing. So we're going to do Fortescue Falls and Fern Pool and there's a bit of a loop that you can do and um, we're going to walk the top of the gorge and then we're going to go walk through the gorge to Fern Pool and finish it off with a swim. Now one of the pools is shut and it was shut about four years ago as well. I think there's like, is it natural asbestos? So they've got blue asbestos out here and I think they've had a couple of like rock falls and it like breaks it all up. Yeah. And when it's dry and in the air, it's not good to be breathing it in. We've just read that there's high water levels in Dale's Gorge at the moment. So it could make this for a bit of an interesting walk. Okay, there's a bit of water around in there. Yeah. You weren't expecting this. No. I'm wearing my boots, so got a little bit of protection from the water. Are you gonna spider monkey this? Yep. This could end really badly, or it could work out alright. Don't, don't go in the water. Nice. Now my turn. Ooh. Oh, that was a bit muddy. There we go, about 45 minutes of walking and we've made it to Fortescue Falls. Fortescue Falls? And I reckon it's been a great spot for a swim. A very cold swim. It is so slippery down here. <laughs> You're just gonna have to do it, I reckon. Freezing, absolutely. <laughs> This is the cold plunge you wanted. I said that I wanted a cold plunge once <laughs> and now you've just held it over my head. Yep. Three, I'm gonna two, slip in one, go. <laughs> is it cold? <laughs> so cold. Okay, well I'm probably not going to go in any further than this.
Good morning. We are up nice and early. Let me swing around. Bit of, bit of better lighting. Kind of. It's really awkward <laughs> lighting this time of morning. We are out and about at Joffrey Waterfall this morning. Um, we're heading down into the gorge at the moment, but I reckon we're going to be the only ones down here. That's a big ladder. The ladders are really cold too, so enjoy that. We're the first ones here for the day, unintentionally. It's about 8.30 in the morning, so... I'm surprised no one else is here. Ooh. Bit fresh? Yep. Ooh, crystal clear though. This is so nice. I don't think we picked the right time of day. We've got it all to ourselves, but I don't think there's any swimming happening. Nah, come on. It's 14 degrees outside. That might seem warm for some people, but that's absolutely freezing for us. Nice work, you made it. I did it. I'm trying to be more adventurous. You're doing a good job. All right, hold this. I'll give you a lift down. <laughs> Not the glamorous way, <laughs> Oh, that was good. Yeah, it's good for me. <laughs> wow, check this out. So, over here somewhere is Chelsea. There she is over there. You can't see her because she actually blends in. She's dressed to like blend into the gorge today. Hello. Alrighty, next up, Knox Gorge. Three hours return, two kilometers. I don't think it's gonna take us that long, but it is a class five, so it might be a bit of like rock crawling, climbing around and stuff, so it should be good. We are already dreading the walk back up. You can see why it's class five. Yeah, let's just hope it's worth it. Yeah. We'll let you know if it's worth it in the end, if it's worth a big hike down and then back up. Look at all the shaley rock behind me. That's just to try and put it into perspective how tough it is to get down here. And then, look yeah. at that. It's actually pretty hectic. So I'd be taking caution if you weren't really uh, stable on your feet and you thought you'd have a crack at this one because it's a bit of a challenge. Oh, look at that to get up. It's actually stressing me out. Every time we go over like a really, well, the whole thing is shaley, slippery. I'm like, how are we going to get back up here? Come on, positive vibes. Yeah. It's going to be good. Positive vibes only. Going up is way easier than coming down too. You The walk through Knox Gorge so far has been worth it. It's very picturesque. Um, the big red rocks around you, and it's just like a big cavern. No, nah, cavern's not the right word. Ravine. Ravine. Yeah, but so pretty. I found a little swimming hole. Oh, nice. Don't mind me, I'm filming for Instagram as well. So this is a little shameless plug. If you do like our content and you wanna see us day to day, you just want to see more of Bryce in your everyday life, make sure to follow us on Instagram and Facebook. So it goes further, does it? Yeah, I can see spots over there. Alrighty, lead the way, I'll follow you. What, you can't carry your phone? No. Oh, are you doing it? Gotta hang on with both hands? Do you wanna put this in the bag too? Yeah, thanks. <laughs> Well, this has actually been very worth it. You get to the end here and it's so cool. I wouldn't suggest swimming in here. It's very murky. Algae. Algae. Yeah, it's not a very good swimming spot. But, but it's so beautiful and cool in the gorge that you probably don't even need to swim anyway. Knox Gorge is also sponsored by Arnott's Shapes, chicken crimpies. Perfect for your walk. And if you know anyone at Arnott's that wants to sponsor us with some <laughs> chicken crimpies, let us know. <laughs> I'm so not ready for this. Yeah, we nearly actually missed it because it's pretty much just vertical straight up. You can see a blue dot just up here. There's a few more up higher, but it's going to be crazy. So what we're going to do is we're going to leave it here. We'll catch up the top. We did it. Nice work, babe. 
Okay, I think it was actually worse going down than what it was up. Yeah, and big shout out to Chels, because I'm the one that pushes her to do all of these gorges, and she's very gorged out after the last couple of weeks. So. Yeah, we had the Gib, now we got Karajini. Yeah. We've done our fair share of walks and gorges. Yeah, thanks for coming along with me and yeah, joining me. She really pushed through a couple times that we don't film. She goes, oh, I really don't want to do this. I'm just like, nah, come on, let's have a crack, but it works out good in the end. We are leaving Mount Bruce this morning. We have been here for the last four nights while we explore Karajini. It's been an awesome base. Now we have been putting our water tanks through a bit of a test. So we're usually really careful with our water and we usually just fill up every couple of days when we can. But this time we're like, no, we've got four nights here. Let's just use our water as normal, have normal showers, do dishes, all that kind of jazz. And we've been surprised how much water we have left. We've got a little gauge in there and it says we're still half full with water. Plus we've got the 40 liters in the car, which was like our backup water as well. I think we've got 295 litre tanks. Let me just double check that. 295 litre tanks? Yeah, 295 litre tanks and a 40 litre tank in the car as like a backup so that if we do day trips, then we can fill up the, um, the car tanks. Oh yeah, smash it there. All the other towns need to take a leaf out of Tom Price's book. We've got two water fill-ups and a dump point. They're all nicely spread out so there can be everyone doing what they need. No lineup, so good. And the water pressure and flow here is unbelievable. It is <laughs> flogging through. I've had to put it onto half pressure because it just started <laughs> spitting straight back at me. This is fantastic. So you will find two spots to fill up with water, a dump point, bins, picnic tables. It's all at the information center just as you're getting into Tom Price, right near the big dump truck. There are two ways that you can come in and out of Tom Price if you're heading from the south, the west? Yeah, from the east the lower section inland <laughs> anyway one of them is dirt and one of them is bitumen i remember this from four years ago and i said to bryce i'm like i swear one of them is dirt and he's like no i can't remember that anyway we're doing the dirt one Jeez, that was a great impression of me <laughs> are we right we are yes we're right. What are you panicking about? Okay, anyway, we're doing the dirt one. Um, some of it is really good and some of it's like the Gibb River Road. Um, and we've just had to do a bit of a yui and pull <laughs> over because Bryce has found a bit of a treasure on the side of the road. Hey, hey, hey. Big chalk. Another I'm... super chalk. Bryce is a bit embarrassed about this, but I think that's fine. It's just a bit of rubbish that we're going to pick up off the side of the road. Yeah, that's it. Doing our bit. And it's mining spec, I reckon. Gee, caravan's not going anywhere. Yeah. Chelsea needs that. Put her mind at rest when we're parked up on a hill. <laughs> Welcome to Cheela Plain Station. But before I can show you around, let me just put my new chalk in. <laughs> Our unpowered site at Chilla Plains comes with water. So that's actually amazing for us because we are still trying to catch up with Gibb River Road washing. We still haven't done our bedding and just because the van just automatically gets so much dust in it, the bedding is red. And I mean, it probably doesn't help. The juice, juice was up there jumping on the bed every day with red dusty paws. Chila Plains here they've got a couple of walks you can do from the campground they've got a caves walk which I think is about two hours and they've also got a sunset lookout so I think that's going to be perfect for this afternoon we've both got a drink in hand ready to go and uh, go check out the sunset I think this one's going to be fairly easy considering we've been doing so many walks recently with the Gib and Karajini 1.5 kilometers is nothing <laughs> yeah juice might struggle though yeah true off you go pup
Good morning. The sunset spot was so nice last night with a very easy walk up the hill and back. But this morning we are checking out the cafe which is on site here at Chiller Plain Station. <laughs> Gonna go grab a coffee, maybe something to eat. Yep, load up, ready before we go out for our adventurous day, doing yeah. full drive tracks. Spin it around, Bryce, you tell them about okay. them. So on the uh, station here, they've got two full drive tracks. One's a two hour track and the other one says about a four hour track. We're going to do the four hour one. I don't think it's going to take us four hours, but it goes to a few different hot spots around their property and some cool things to go check out. Looking forward to it. All right, let's go get a coffee. It's been a while. Yeah, we don't usually buy coffee. We just drink like instant or plunger coffee here. Well, Bryce doesn't even drink coffee. I don't even drink coffee anymore. He, he only drinks fancy coffee. <laughs> Definitely an Outback cafe. <laughs> $17 later for two coffees and I might need to put another shot in there myself. She's a bit weak. In order to do the full drive track at Chiller Plains, you do have to go to the office, give a deposit, pick up the key. And they also take some of your details down and just tell you a few things about the four wheel drive track. Now, I don't know if it's gonna be full on four wheel drive, but I think it's more just gonna be like a self drive to a heap of points of interest. Let's go. Wrong gate. <laughs> that one was a keypad. I'll just spin you around. <laughs> yeah, We are at the first point of interest, which is worth filming. It's called the wall. And it is just a big rock wall. <laughs> Slipping around a bit. Where are we up to now, Bryce? I think we're at Muscle Pool. The map is really good because it's quite basic but it's almost a little too basic, which makes it a little bit hard to work out where you're going. But I think we're just in here at Muscle Pool, and then we're gonna go have a look at the Parenti Falls. Fingers crossed anyway. Out on this four wheel drive track, they've actually got some campgrounds out here too. So if you did want something that's a little bit more out in the bush and not in the campground, you can actually book spots out here as well. But the catch is you've got to go to the campground grab the key, then drive 20 k's up the road to go into the camp. But then when you want to leave, you also have to go back to Chila Plains, drop the key off. So it is a little bit more messing around. Well, here is the lovely muscle pool. You came for a swim? No, nah, not really. It's not quite doing it for me at the moment. But I'm loving the fact we're not in croc country anymore. This would be really cool when it's flowing. Yeah. Get a good couple of rains and it'd be good fun. There's a rope swing over there if you want to have a crack. Okay, our lunch spot is the Namana Pool on the Beasley River. There is so many different, very confusing names along this self-drive. It's been okay so far. It hasn't, I wouldn't call it full drive. I mean, you could probably do it in any kind of Yeah, it's car. just like a trail. I think there's sections at different times of the year. Might be worse conditions, so they say recommend full drive. But overall, it's been pretty cruisy. It's been quite picturesque, but the points of interest, they just don't have much water in them at the moment. So other times a year, I'm sure you could probably have a swim in the water holes and watch waterfalls flowing. But unfortunately, it's a little bit dry at the moment. So we've just been driving for the last 20 minutes. Where are we meant to be? This Piamathus Soak. Piamathus Soak. Is it that? Is it that dry hole just there? I think so. I don't know if it's got to do with like the rocky formations. There you go, something I just read. 
um, the volcanic rocks here date back to approximately 2,730 million years ago. That's some old rocks. There you go. I think because when you look at the map, that, the little budgies and stuff hanging around, does that look like that? I think they haven't had a very good rain in a while. <laughs> Well, that is a wrap on the four-wheel drive trail. Um, it was not too bad. I think yeah. we just weren't blessed with some uh, good rain recently, so we couldn't see it in all its uh, I don't know, lushness and yeah. what they had in the pictures. But other than that, it was a nice drive for a few hours, gets you out and about, and it gives you a reason to stay a couple of nights out at Cheetah Plains. We are at the very notorious Nanataro Roadhouse. Now it's notorious for being very, very busy. There is a lineup of about 10 caravans, heap of cars, um, but we have come out to the truck area. Now there's no trucks here at the moment um, and we're just using the unmanned diesel. It's working, right? Yep. Sure we, is. we didn't know if we had to have like some special fuel card or something because no one is out here using it. So yeah, we've beaten the massive lines of heaps of people. And also the caravans that were coming into the roadhouse, they're all lining up on the main road on like the 100 kilometer highway. So we were on the radio, we're like, can we move forward please? Because so we can at least get off the road? This oh. is dangerous. Oh, some interesting characters out there, but I think we've cheated the system. Yeah, beat the line and we're good to go. We're just going to fill up really quick and then if any big trucks or anything come that need to use this area, we can be out of their way. Excuse me, can we get out of the service station, please? Yeah. <laughs> oh, we just worked so much smarter right now. Yeah, we skipped like, I don't know, 15 people. <laughs> yeah. If you're in a caravan and you want fuel, there's an ampole tank out the back. Well, that's the end of the video. If you are enjoying them, please make sure to leave a comment below and subscribe. A big shout out to our super thanks for this week, who is Pet Sue and Chris Flesser. We really appreciate the support and we'll catch you all next week.